Yadubs. Hello, Yadubs. We are getting set up for bagels. Would you mind grabbing the cutting board? The big cutting board? Yeah, hold on. Opens covered. Bartimalt. Multi barley malt. We're gonna put barley malt into the cooking pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already got it on myself. That's okay. The shirt is already. Oh, oh, we got sticky again. Oy. Why is there just stickiness everywhere all the time? Alright, there we go. Let's chuck that spoon in there. Alright. I already messed up the cutting board. Good job, Rain. I got barley on the cutting board. Yeah, so I barf on the cutting board. Three and a half ounce bagels. Ooh. Ooh. Get in there. Heck yes. All right. Oh. I don't know how many grams that is, so let's change the mode to ounces. Smell the alcohol coming off of there. Four. That's a good. Oh no, my little light died. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Already? <laughs> Nothing is like brand new. I charged it. I haven't. I haven't charged it since yesterday. Oh. Three. I just thought it would be really funny since it was like. A work gift and like part of it broke already. And then part like, of it did break then, already. And then like if the light died too. <laughs> like falling apart within days. Oh my gosh. I need... I guess I could weigh them and then shape them. That seems like a good thing. Alright, I will weigh and then shape. And then they will rise, and then as soon as the water is boiling, we will have risen ones that can go in the water. 
Uh, usually put the lid on, bring it to the boil. Uh, to bring it to the boil, yeah. yeah. I'm getting better at how much is three and a half ounces. I wonder if I should have like a little bowl for flour. So everything doesn't stick a million percent. like a lot of flour because we just want to prevent bagel stickage to the all right and I guess I should also um oh keeps oven comes back three 40. I try to get it within 0 0.05 ounces of three and a half. So 3.45 or 3.55 between there. I'm just going to like gluten cloak them so they're kind of like in a little roundy ball situation. I'm probably going to redo those ones just to make sure there's no like little dry bits and then yeah that one is not great all right we don't have our bagel hands yet bagels are difficult in the beginning to so get them all even and everything all right let's try these ones again how do I have a little bit of flour so like stretch and rolling them to a little ball. Bloop. Cal, can you leave it, please? My old, old, old dog asking for water constantly. More water than your kitties can handle, doggo. Alright, so we're just like not a very fancy kneading method. Just kind of hand over hand. Then stretch and bloop. Stretch, bloop. Stretch, bloop. Is bloop a descriptive enough word? Stretch and then you like make it into a, like a hot dog bun shape and then you roll it into a ball again. A little extra flour. And then you just plonk your thumb in the center and do a little stretch around your fingers and then you got a donut. No, not a donut, a bagel. <laughs> You're not making donuts. Oh, that's way too big. All right. Three and a half ounces is what we're looking for. Bloop. Oh, 360. All right, we're just going to have to be okay with 360 because sometimes you don't get your bagel ounces extremely correct, and that's okay. Callie, leave it. Okay, got our little ball. Some poke. Heck yes. Mm, 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 mm. I think I can see the chat. I'm not always sure. You know, live streaming can be. Oh, I see it now. Maybe. Look at the glue pins. Huh? Oh, I was just talking to the chat. Wait, wait, no, chat, come back. Why are so, I cannot see you. Hello from me and your pillow sculpture. Hello, my love. Hello, pillow sculpture. I am, I am hoping you are having a good cuddle time together as pillow sculpture friends. <sighs> Hello from bagel land. Boop. That's way too much dough for one bagel. Oh, three. 3.45 ounces. Heck yes. Alright. Boop, boop. Pillow sculpture is in the next room. I am having a hide in my bed eating chicken fingers kind of night. 
Ooh! Now this is kind of nice that I can get behind. Honestly, today was my last day of work until January, and I'm like so hyped about it. Here's the <sighs> what? Homemade. Oh, the granola is granola. coming in. We gotta get. We gotta get a little bit closer. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Homemade granola just came out the oven. It's so like I'm gonna crunch it at you. Ready? Are you ready for a crunch? Mmm, nom, nom, nom. Oh, this is so, that's a good batch. Mm. Heck yes. I hope your chicken fingers are also tasty. Alright, that's two. If I had my glasses on, this would be much easier, but you know what? We raw, we raw dog in this world with no, <laughs> with just no glasses. Can I get, make the... Chat not fade away every time I try to look at him. A gallon of yogurt. We haven't made yogurt yet, but I recently got on the kefir kick. Let me let me just show you my kefir obsession. I'm so so into it. The chat fades every time you look at it. Yeah, every time I try to look at it, it's like we fade away. It's like realistic chat. It's like Star Trek chat. <laughs> It's like, the chat is contingent. I started getting super obsessed with this, um, like, kefir stuff. And it, like, like, I don't know, three quarters kefir, one quarter orange juice. Mm, it's like, it's like if you, if you made a yogurt smoothie, but you were, like, the most lazy person that ever lived. And it's, it has so much protein in it, which is good because I am terrible eating protein. If it's not a carb, I do not desire it. 310, 335, oh my gosh, 370, ugh, we're all over the place, 340, 345, 355, whatever, close enough, this blob is close enough. Oh yeah, hello humans, I am attempting to see the chat, my partner drinks kefir, I'm more of a plain Greek yogurt person than in a tub person. See, yes. My human is a uh, Greek yogurt in a tub human also. That's also the type of human that I have. Alright. The most satisfying part of the bagel is when you pokes it. Mmm! Pokes it. Look at that. This is going to be a long ass process, y'all. It's, it's just long. But it's a very tasty outcome. We are going to be making everything bagels. Bloop it in the flour. Get some of the flour off of it. I'm basically just trying to like stretch the gluten into like a ball. They get rested, yes. So so they're rise they're rising once they're shaped. Uh, and they rise for about half an hour. Um, and then they will go in the uh, water, which has um, barley malt syrup in it um, to help the outside of the dough really like get like a really nice brown color. Um, and then after they go in the water, they go in the dredge, which is, that's the everything bagel. So ours is poppy seed, sesame seed, and fried garlic. So they go in that dredge, they get coated in that, and then they go in the oven. So as soon as we start boiling is when we preheat the oven. Or maybe I should preheat the oven now. <sighs> Bam! Oh yeah, 3.5 ounces exactly. You need to pre you need to oh, right. um, So this oh <laughs> This is a, I'm very glad that my New York, my, my New York humans support me in my own personal bagel making. Um, this is a Jewish recipe uh, that I've made for a few years now because I've been trying to actually have, you know, Jewish cooking skills. Because <laughs> I had zero before. I did not really get the cooking skills from my family, so... That's why I'm learning to do bagels. And as much as this. 
off by over an ounce. But I have had one friend who's like a world traveler who is all about that New York bagel and did tell me that these are amazing. So I'm very happy to be able to compete on the world bagel stage. It would be vastly easier to compete if you put your glasses on, but you refuse. So. Do you want me to go get your glasses? No. I am perfectly capable of getting my own glasses. You literally. Yes, I literally refuse. The lens is going to scratch. The coating is peeling. They don't fit. I haven't had them fit since before COVID. And I'm, I'm just living this life without glasses now. That's just my situation. That's silly. Make an appointment. The, make an appointment, he says. Like, that's just an easy thing to do. Guess who hasn't been to the optometrist in years? Oh, it would be me. Guess who has not been to the dentist in years? Oh, that would be me. Also me, actually. Yeah, just make an appointment, he says. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should just make it. One of us should use your health care. Yeah, and it should be me. <laughs> Alright, that's way too much dough. But now, 3.30, technically a New York bagel. These don't count, well, they don't count as New York bagels because I'm not in fucking New York and it's in San Francisco. But, also... That was the end of my thought. My brain ran out of words. Oh, that's what I was going to say. This is not the correct shaping method for a New York bagel. They're rolled as a log and then like joined at the ends. But I don't use that method because that's not the method in my Jewish recipe. So I use the poke a hole in the center method. So okay if I season a skillet? Oh yeah, just don't turn the fan on because it's way too loud. You can open the door though. Um. <laughs> he sounds like he has that executive functioning thing I keep hearing about. It's that that would be so fancy if you could just be like, I think I should make an appointment, and then you just do it. Huh. What? What kind of neurotypical magic is that? You just magically. Make the appointment the very first time. You think about the thing. That seems. That seems like. Um, I didn't say the very first time. Maybe you start thinking. Bruh, we've been thinking about getting a dentist appointment for like <laughs> a year. <laughs> well, honestly, I would like glasses, but. Do I want them as much? Do I want glasses more than I don't want to get poofed in the eye at the optometrist? Um, not a fan of it. Not 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 a fan of the eye poof method. Not 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 a fan. Not 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 a fan. That's still not a fan. I'm um, yeah. That's exactly that's exactly my point. Oh, recently I learned. I don't know if you knew this. In uh, African American vernacular English, knots are additive, not, uh, uh, like, cross-multiply negative, like the way they are in standard English. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you ha add two negatives to a, a sentence in African-American vernacular English, it changes the meaning of the sentence. It doesn't just negate the negation. Uh-huh. It actually is, like, a, it's a, um... It's like an emphasis. It's an emphasis, but it also changes like the tense, hmm. the tense of the of the negation. Like, if you say, "You don't have money," versus like, "You never." No, I obviously I don't speak African American, but I but like you 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 never be having no money. Oh, well, you that's, never that's, be having no money is well, not that's, a negation that's of habitual, negation. That's habitual be. You know about habitual being? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I it's the, so cool, I, I the, didn't know that. The best phrase I've ever heard in African American vernacular English on, you mentioned 20 last night though, which was kippers on deck. Oh yeah, that was really <laughs> cool. It was it was amazing to hear kippers on deck. African American vernacular English like in a role playing game context. <laughs> 
using a word that like isn't traditionally used in that language. It's so amazing. Yeah. I don't know about you, but we have been watching uh, Dimension 20 uh, Fantasy High. We watched the first season. Uh, is it just called Fantasy High? Yeah. We watched the first season, the like freshman year season, and now we're on like the sophomore year season. Um, and we are obsessed. Like, like, yeah, like real obsessed. It's like the only TV we watch now. TV I actually like. Water's boiling. I joined, um, I poof is ouchy. It is ouchy! Exactly! I haven't seen that. I've been watching Into the Motherlands. Oh, I haven't seen that. I'm just really enjoying Dimension 20 because, like, it's, it's D&D. Like, it's completely unscripted. But it's, like, professional unscripted. And they make, like, these amazing sets. And they have all these, like, cool 3D printed characters. And all the actors are incredible. Yeah, like, all the combats are modeled. Yeah, it's really cool. They have a whole modeling team. Although, in the sophomore year, they're not. There's no modeling for the sophomore year. Oh, none? Yeah, they just do it with oh. maps. Because they, they're doing it live. It's all done, right. like, totally live. Not the story necessarily. Like, well, yeah, but there's lots of other seasons that they, have. Oh shit! I wonder, did they lay off the modelers? No, no, they, they just had they they added more shows, so the modelers oh, were working on so other shows. Yeah. I see. I see. All right. All right, my friends, I have to move you. So if you get seasick watching live stream cameras move, I apologize. Uh, have you made up your stuff? Made up? Oh, wait. I can't remember. Is it, uh, is it boiled twice? No, it's only boiled once. This is the, like, Big Lin, Big Lout stuff? Big Lin, Big Lout. Oh, you just haven't made the stuff yet. I'm getting there, bruh! I'm just asking. Bruh! I'm clarifying. It's not judgment. I'm just clarifying. I'm not judging you. Uh, yes. Okay. One. Two. How many do we usually do? Four? Three? Uh, I think we usually do three at a time. Three. Okay, three bagels three in the pot. In, what was it? Three minutes? Yes. And then two minutes? Three, three minutes, what, two minutes? Yeah, let me just check and make sure. Something like that. Do, 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 do. One minute, then one minute. One minute, flip, flip, minute? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, just two minutes. Okay. Then I need a place for you to put the bagels, then I need a place for me to dredge the bagels. This, uh, cast iron. And then we can continue shaping additional bagels. The skill is hot. Okay. Ooh, The Motherlands is an RPG show on Twitch. Brand new game being played by people. We're also creating the game. Ooh, I like that. I will definitely check that out. Okay, I have to get dredged though. Okay, sesame, poppy. Do we not have garlic? We have garlic powder, but we don't have fried garlic. Bags of fried garlic. Oh, we have red onions. Should we pull bags of it? Uh, not over here. Maybe somewhere else. It's either on the shelf. It's right here. Oh, okay, cool. Or so are you going to use... Oh, actually, sorry. This is the Rito place. Ooh, the artistic director is the founder of I Need Diverse Games. Oh! Okay, I definitely have to try this. Motherland on Twitch. I'm going to follow them. It's going to be amazing. has to be ground so there's going to be a loud noise but like not right this second. Shit. Dog. Poppy seed. Alright. Season 3 just wrapped. I think it says VOD. I don't know. 
All right, we have our poppy seed. Do you want me to plop it right in there? Uh, no. Um, I'm not ready yet, so just put them right here. Okay. Um, you found the garlic, you said. <clears throat> no. Oh, you didn't. Okay. I'm not. Oh. I'll just use fried onions and like crunch them up with my hands. I think we just used it all. We use we make a lot of bagels. Oh right. Pork floss. No. We're not putting pork floss on bagels I'm giving to a bunch of Jews. <laughs> oh, you're giving them out this time? Yeah. Uh, big loud. Wow, I think those are like the, the first Jewish friends you ever had that are actually kosher. I don't know that they're kosher, but they are from synagogue, so you gotta like... You gotta Plus they're older, which is oh. more likely for them to be kosher. Like right, bagels in. We have our steaming bagels, which I have learned by burning myself very badly twice, not to touch them immediately. All right, I think we need a little bit more. Speaking of which. <laughs> Are you making nachos? Yeah. We're also making nachos, y'all. Okay. Does it seem like enough onion? Probably fine. Alright, we got our dredge. I used to put salt in the dredge, but I stopped doing it because I'm the only person on earth who likes salt, apparently. Oh, big Lynn, sorry. Big Lynn! Alright. Oh my god, so many bagels, so many nachos. Alright. We're just going to dredge our little bagel friends, put them over here, the oven is prodding, so if people could pay attention to the oven making noises. Yeah. I think people means me. I do think people means you. Whenever you put poppy seeds in a dredge, ah! oh. uh oh, what? I squashed a bagel. Oh. I think it'll be okay. okay. Alright, we have our dredge. Everything's okay. Whew. Okay, we gotta go back to our 3.5 ounces over here. It's too many things happening at once. <laughs> I agree that salt bagels are the way in the light. However, not everyone on earth agrees that that is true. So I compromise by. Big Lover. Big Lover. <laughs> This is our traditional bagel song. You must announce all the movements of the bagels. You must align the word bagel. Baglin. Baglout. Baglover. Yeah. Alright. How? How did you get heavier? Did I touch something? Oh, I did touch something. Alright. Not my... Not my go-to method usually. I usually do one at a time, but you know what? I'm in a bit of a rush, all right? Here we go. We got this. Are we keeping any of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. He almost just gave up on me, y'all. Did you hear that? If I said that we were keeping none of the bagels, he was about to walk out this kitchen. <laughs> that is exactly what was about to happen. <laughs> Take a break from this activity. Just do bagel in. Bam, bam. Oh, you're cooling. I'm not touching you because I am a smart human who doesn't accidentally touch things with my hands and then burn them. I am a smart human who learns from getting burned. Tell that to my finger. Chill. 
My horribly burned finger. I'm sorry if that was graphic. Graphic warning! Graphic finger burn content! Warning! Are there poochies? Uh -huh. Doggos are the cutest ones. Doggos are the cutest ones. Oh. Okay, we got this burn. You can do it. Oh, by the way, you know the, how you vacuumed the floor earlier? Yeah. What? On the, uh, the floor is sitting again because Ami is digging in the, in the plant. Ugh, I have to move that fucking plant. Our dog keeps yeah. digging in a in a house plant. I don't know why. Big lover. Big lover. Oh my god, it's so it's like bonkers hot in here. There's half two burners and the oven is on like 450 degrees. I'm gonna die. Kelly, no. Uh uh, Cal. You're too old for that. Kelly I saw her. Can I back up? Can I back up? Our old lady dog wants to go outside and go and down back our up. back stairs, which right. are so, so steep that she gets stuck. Boo doot. So Steve's gonna go out and close the gate so no old lady dogs are harmed in the process of making of Angel. Alright, we got this. I closed the gate for the top of the stairs. Yep. If you can go out. Smart stairs. human. Okay. Big lap. Oh shit. Lap! What is wrong? Put your fucking bagel down, bro. Big lap. All right, Big Lynn. Nope. Incorrect body. Can't put the unrisen ones in there. They have to rest. That's the rules. Yeah. Hopefully. You got enough onions on your body. Yes. Well, those ones have less onions on them, but you know what? We're just dealing with it. Go in there. Maybe if I, like, smush them a little. Really pat the onions in. Yeah. Yes, I'm getting dredge everywhere. I'm okay with this. All right. This is a bagel, so we gotta bagel it. Continuing. Oh my gosh, I still have like four to shape, but I'm alright. Everything is fine. Is a bagel bakery called a bakery? No? That was like the funniest joke ever on bakery. Come on, B. How would you spell it? B A G E L R Y bagery? Are you, who's up for my bagelry joke? Hello? Hello? <laughs> you know a joke is funny when you have to encourage people to think that it's funny. That's when it's the funny. That, that's when you know. You got a touch of the tism. Touch of the tism. Okay. What do we got here? 315. Well. Okay. Do it. 375, too much. Three, fuck! Ah! Okay. Alright. Big Lynn. Big Lynn. Big Lynn. Excuse you. 
Alright, this is just going to have to be in halved. Do that. Alright, I think it's vaguely half. If I don't make two slightly fat bagels at the end, I always end up making two way too small bagels. And it's just like a whole bagel situation, so. Two fat bagels at the end. Oh, it's upside down. What's upside down? These are the best. You opened it upside down, you mean? Yeah. I don't know if it matters though. Casa Sanchez, Hotel Cards. These are the chips to see this It's very with. strange that they call them that, but because that's just the word for like chip. In Spanish. Well, what else would they call it other than chips? chips? They're tortilla chips. Well, but they make a lot of different kinds. That's true. All right, I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to use you as bagel. Rising Maybe they agree that station. Those, that those are the best ones, so they're like, oh, yeah. these are Toto. I mean, everybody agrees they're the best ones, so. Big ah! There We got Butterfingers today. No, only like half of them will get given out. Okay. We have blood now. Mm. You yog it. Do the thing roll up. My granola eating preference is just eat the granola. None of this whole like yogurt mm. situation. Oh, 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 okay. We have our first is set that, going in the oven. Is it batch time? Yeah, it's batch time. Do you have them on a sheet? No, they have to go in the oven. Oh, right. This is perfect not. timing because I don't have to put my hands in the dough anymore. Big loud. No, sticks on deck. Ah! Hold on. Just wait a second. <laughs> Bitches gotta wash their hands. Hey, 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 hey. Most of my bagels on the ground. Big loud. Wait, which ones are the old ones? Uh, probably the ones closer to the ends. No. One, two, three. New? Old. Is that right? Oh. Sure, they're handleable, so. Yes. Um, wait. You just you just put them all in there by hand? Yeah. I can't remember. It's been so long. Okay. Ready? Uh huh. Can you do like eight? Uh huh. Like three, two, and three. Uh-huh. I'll come back. And how long? Uh, uh, I think it's 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. You want to check or you set a timer? Just set a timer and then I'll edit it. And you'll, check. you'll edit it? Yeah, the timer. I'll edit the timer. You can't fix it in post, but... Yes, you can. It's locked. You can fix a timer in post. <laughs> I thought you, I was making a... Never mind. Because we're live streaming. We'll no. fix it in post no, after we'll, the live stream. Double entendre. We'll, we'll yeah. fix the bagels in post. Get in there. Oh, was that the last of the... Oh, no. We have... Oh, we didn't put the... Seven okay. okay. We got this. We got this. We got it. We got it. Go ahead and do four in this batch. Just so... You don't have to do an extra one. Oh. Mm. Could have done three, three, and three, but no. He wants to do four and three and two. Oh, I didn't see those. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see I'm those. I'm sorry. Doot, doot, doot. I didn't realize. These are some mutual aid bagels, bitches. How to make people like you. Food. Here, I'll show you how you can teleport. Are you ready? Are you ready? You just get the bagel like this. You and you go wow 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 And you're here! I teleported you all the way to our keychain. Keychain. Chicken. Chicken. 
Okay, what am I doing right now? <laughs> oh! I'm figuring out how long the bagels need to be bageled for. Bagel over. Bagel over. 20 minutes! Or until richly did I heat the oven to the right temperature? Okay. 400. No, I did not. Shh. It's fine to over preheat it though, because our oven is, tends to be a little on the cold side. Actually, I'm going to do it at 450, because our oven tends to be a little on the cold side. Beep! Are you trying to say anything? Are you trying to say our oven doesn't come out? What? It's not nice. That's inaccurate. <laughs> Vaguely inaccurate. This is the nacho base. Oh, Steve is making the nachos. Homemade, homemade reefer beans. Reefer beans. Mm hmm. No, there's no. Totopos, which we did not make, but they're made locally. Bagel out. Bagel out. Loosen up our bagel friends before they go in the water. Before they go in the water. You gotta have a barley malt bath If you wanna have a bagel Bagel You gotta have a barley malt bath Hiya! And then somebody was like, I'm going to take everything good about a bagel and take it away and make a biale. And somehow it's still delicious. I don't even entirely understand why. <laughs> Bialis are so good. And I don't understand it. Because, like, it's not a bagel. Is it like anti No, they're just a bagel that didn't get a bath. Oh. With yeah, instead of a bath, it got a hat. Hmm. It's like the bath to hat ratio. All right, we almost there, my friends. We almost there. Heck, doubles. Heck, at least doubles, right? Because, like, everything is a snack. And that is the best thing. All right, we have all of our bagels. Shaped. We have most of them are boiled, most of them are dredged. We have our first batch in the oven. Nachos is happening. We, we got dog you guys you guys know dog cam while we while we take a break from cooking. There we go. Dog cam. This omelet. This butt over here, this is a Cali waffle butt right here. This is an omelet. Making bagels, having dogs. Oh. God damn it, y'all. God damn it. That's what he says. Big loud. Big loud. Alright, we got last two. Take a bath. I dream of someday being able to stir the bagels in one of those like enormous jelly pots with like the big wooden paddle and you boil like oh, a dozen bagels at once and it's just like the pinnacle of beauty in life. I want this experience please. I'm sure that a bakery would find my technique subpar, and I apologize to them. However, my bagels are delicious, so whatever. Maybe I should learn the proper shaping technique. I do feel like that is where my bagels are like 
subpar is that they're not perfectly consistent all the way around because I just like poke my fucking finger in them. So for the last time. We got the last bagel flip. Last bagel flip, y'all. In a world where the last bagel has been flipped. <laughs> and the last snack has been snacked. One man. One dog. <laughs> One chipmunk. One chopstick. We'll fight. Where'd the other one go? We'll fight in a three-way battle royale <laughs> for the supremacy of the planet. Guess who wins? It's the chipmunk, the because chop. otherwise this movie wouldn't be funny. Surprise ending, it's actually the chopstick. Surprise, surprise! It was a holiday special the whole time. <laughs> Pick mm, 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 mm. Bagel out. Bagel out. Just hot hot. hot. Look at that beautiful specimen. Hiya! Not kosher. I am not kosher, so you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Many Jews are not kosher. It is a choice you can make if it improves your connection to your food and your spiritual experience of the material universe I say have at it for me it does not do that it just makes me anxious so however you better get in the present moment if that requires you know a lot of rules because you know what to be fair I use a lot of rules in my art to like improve my present momentfulness in the work. So I can identify with the whole rules are good for your present moment ability to do things. Like mindfulness or whatever. Alright, let's see if one human can pour one batch of dredge into one bag without getting it entirely. Done with this, right? Yep. Ay, 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 sir! That's, Things on the stove are hot! That's a spicy lid. I don't know if y'all can see, but the lid in that. our pan has a little pig on it. It's really cute. I love it so much. <laughs> Whoa, last bit. Yes! I had, to, I had to pay like an extra $15 for that uh, handle, but it was totally worth it. And he burns himself on it constantly, so I hope you appreciate the burn yourself handle. Good, thank you different color. Alright, here we go. I have resorted to a funnel because I am weak and I will definitely spill. I am weak and will definitely spill. Please go with the funnel. I'm still spilling despite the fact that I'm using a goddamn funnel. Go in the fucking funnel! <laughs> this is PG! You can't cuss in front of children! Why? Who made up that rule? What Jesus person made up the no cussing rule? Because you know it was a Jesus person. <laughs> a Jesus person? Yeah. Oh, by Jesus person you don't mean Jesus. No, I mean like people who Those think who, who claims, that their rules should apply to everyone. Who claims to follow me. Yeah, anyone who thinks that their rules should apply to everyone regardless of context and there should be no adaptability to culture is the, in my brain. No, Jesus person. didn't say anything about any of their rules. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about that. Look at my skills. All of the dredge back in the dredge bag. I am amazing. Um, excuse me. There's like too many dogs in this one foot area. Hmm. Hmm. That's not cool. <sighs> the stressful part of the inbagulation has ceased. And now we just do the nice and easy part that just involves sticking things in the oven. 
Gotta love a good oven. For 20 minutes at a time. Ready for some thrilling oven content? It's gonna be thrilling. Huh? I'm gonna unplug you first, so hopefully that didn't crash the stream. Ooh, okay. Next up, removal from your home station, which I will show you what it looks like. This is where you've been hanging out. Cannot fucking get this thing to not wobble. This is what I use to stream. This light was charged but now it's not but this thing is supposed to stay like this but it never does because it's a piece of shit <sighs> bagels close up bagel action oh yeah look at that close up bagel action now we get close up nachos action close up nachos action all right, let's check out how the bagels are doing. They in here, having a little bake. Yes. Hmm. There's, there's dogs. Who's this dog? Who's this dog? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Nomi? And there's this old lady Do dog with her little stick out legs. Do you want to shred some cheese? I will definitely shred some cheese. Alright, y'all. Thrilling content. The shredding cheese section of the evening. Oh, I was gonna fold towels, but I can do that after I shred cheese. Alright. Let's get ourselves a little cheese viewing station. Heck yes. Well, there's there's a pooch right there. There's a pooch. Pooch and cheese simultaneously being viewed. It's a very good shot. I'm like the master of cinematography. I can get cheese and a dog in the same shot. I should get an Oscar. Hey, yeah. Fat, you want fat cheeses or baby cheeses? Uh, fat. Fat cheeses. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot that's like the standard rule for nachos. Ow. Oh. I gotta move over here because my arm is all sore. Yeah, you gotta move to a camera because my arm is too sore for you to be right there. Oh yeah. How many times can I knock over the live stream? Turns out it's a lot of time. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so excited right now, cause like... It's just like off. You gotta have a break. Reading, naps, break. Which is really good timing. Cause I've been having like... I don't know, in December? Do I have two chain migraine chains in December? Or it was just one long one with like kind of a break in the middle, I guess. Don't worry, I didn't sneeze on the cheese. Don't sneeze on the cheese. You will get banished if you sneeze on the cheese. You will definitely get banished. Don't worry, I, I don't have COVID. Or at least I have two vaccines and a booster. And I wear a mask every time. And I never go anywhere <laughs> indoors. 
stuff from the library and the grocery store. Yum. Yum. Alright. She's accomplished. Oh, heck yes. Nope, that didn't do anything. My attempt to flip the camera around was not successful. Yes, I have noise canceling headphones. No, that on. I just am wearing them because when we are in the kitchen, I get extra clangs. And then they get into my brain, and then it is evil. I don't like it. Mm. Ah, ah. has been so weird the last two days. It's like way lower than normal. And I don't know why. I'm probably just exhausted. It happens. You just become an exacerbated human. As a non-Christmas human, I'm like really appreciating Christmas. Because, like, everybody just disappears. And it's like I get all this time of chillaxing and, like, not having to worry about literally anything. Because, like, we don't do any of that stuff. We don't do presents or trees or we cook. That's, like, it. But we always cook, so it's not, like, special celebration cooking. Ooh, do you want to have a, a ch uh, picking up Chinese food extravaganza this year? Sure. That sounds really good. We used to go to Chinese in the movies every Christmas because, you know, Jews. Yeah, totally. But totally COVID, COVID murdered that idea. COVID murdered that idea. So now we can just have Chinese food and movies at home. Oh, we can watch Encanto. We can watch Encanto and have one million Chinese food. What is Encanto? It's a new Disney movie. So how do we do this? We just spatula these out? Shit, I'll spatula the tree. Yes, we spatula them out or we use the pizza peel. Cool. Wait, don't just immediately rip them out of the oven, please. Just turn the timer off. <sighs> Alright, let's look at these babies. Mm, they need like... A few more minutes. Okay. Like three? Yeah, I think three minutes is good. And then you can just get them all out. All right, three more minutes and then we will be able to see bagels in their doneness form. <laughs> in the time that I've painted my nails, we've made a whole batch of bagels and a tray of nachos and my nails aren't even done yet. <laughs> Where do they go? Um, cookie sheet on top of the pan. Yeah, that's a good placement. I have learned that you, uh, we store them in a Cambro. A Cambro is one of these, like, I'll show you. Um, one of these, like, restaurant-style plastic storage bins. And we usually store them there because there's so many of them. But, um, once I figured out that they get, like, I don't know, they just don't survive as well if you put them in there, like, a little bit warm, so. 
we have this, this is the camera that we make the dough in, which is like just ridiculously huge, and it's not even the biggest one we have. We use them for storage and for broth and like mixing stuff. They're very convenient. And then we got an extra, usually buy 50 pound bags of flour, but... Oh, um, they gave us... <laughs> They ordered like a kind of uh, Here, I'll give you a tour. They usually don't order, and it was just one bag. And they're like, "Do you want this?" Listen, you, if you if you want this, uh, we'll give it to you for like twenty bucks, which is a great deal because these fifteen pound bags of flour are like a hundred bucks. Yeah. So, I was so like, this is our normal store. This is where we usually store flour. So that's fifty pounds of flour. This right is fifty there. pounds. <laughs> and then we have. Well, we've gone through half of that flour, so it's probably uh, twenty five. So we have like two different kinds of high protein bread flour at basically. And then there this camera up here is full of that's probably 30 pounds of flour, 25 pounds of flour somewhere in there. Oh, and then that's a giant bag of rice. So we, we use these restaurant style shelving unit in here. I do think we need one more of them that comes like right here, but <laughs> he doesn't agree with me. I, I it's explain the yourself. Topic has never been <laughs> really? It would be great. We have these restaurant shelves. They come over here. They don't totally block the window. Just be like a little bit. The word is like the compost in the. It's on the bottom shelf. I see. Obviously, sir. All right, let's check on our bagel friends. Timer off. All right, sir. Pizza peel me. The bagels are coming out the oven. Let's do this. Yep, those are done. You got it. I believe in you. Am I going to lose a bagel, y'all? We about to see. Oh look, the dog's not so dumb that she touches the oven. Oh, and here he comes. Look at those babies. Oh, they're so cute. Can you hang out here with me? Should I close it or are you gonna put another? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Come on, Jeez, Louise. Come on, Louise. Come on, Louise. Come on, Louise. Come on, Up and we have to find another line worker. Line worker? You're my line worker. You should. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we have one more batch after this. Perfect. Alright. Yes. We got a new new baby bagels in here. We got a dog. We got one. What? Don't I, don't squash my bagels, biatch! Here, just stick it here. Like, handle, just put the, put it right there. Jeez Louise. It's like a much bigger version of like that. It's like a spatula. That. This is our pizza peel. So yeah, we just have, the, these have to go in the oven next, so 20 minutes after. And, but look how pretty they came out. Let's see if I can get a closer camera. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beauty shot. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that! That was the prettiest big I ever seen. All of his little neighbors. Hecking yes. Hecking yes! Sorry, I'm very excited. I'm a little over excited. Oh, let's check back in. Let's check back in with the nachos. Oh, yeah. Look at that close up. Get that bubbles. Don't burn yourself. And then this is going in eventually. Oh, yeah, I got sausage. Mm -hmm. Just ignore the dirty dishes. Mm -hmm. 
Nachos. And cheese goes on that. And then, cheese on top. And then, it's also. then it goes in the living room and it goes inside of our bellies. And then we watch D Dimension 20. And it is the most delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, look at these baby boots. Are you, did you, did you find something on the floor? Did you find floor snacks? You got poor. And that nose. Take that baby pooch. Oh my god, I love watching so much. Excuse me. Madam. Excuse me. You cannot have seven gallons of water a day. You guys. I need another gallon of water, please. I think I can. I think I can has. You can go. You can wolf. <laughs> she does not believe me. I'm done. I'm done. This one. And this one is a cute one. Yes, I'm. I'm exploiting you for your cuteness. For that nose. <laughs> All right, back to folding our very important job. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out. I am really liking live streaming. It really improves my mood for reasons that are not totally clear to me. When I'm like super in my head and I'm doing the like autism, overthink every single thing and minutely try to organize the exact perfect path through an experience for optimal outcome it it gets a little spirally and streaming really helps me like stop doing that and like focus Just kind of funny, I guess, because it means that, like, my attention is performative because I'm, like, I'm, I don't know, I'm on camera, so I have to be paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, but it really helps. It, it, yeah, it, it's way less, yeah, it does get very stressful, and I, it helps me get out of it, so thank you for hanging out. Hi, y'all. This is one of our tablecloths. It has little music eyes on it. Music eyes. I think streaming also is like stress relieving for me because it encourages me to talk because like I'm on the stream, right? Um, so 80s, isn't it? I love it so much. Do you pick it out? Let me see if I can show you the one that's currently on the table. He picked them both out. They're beautiful. This one has like headphones and with these like cables and it's yellow and stuff. It's so cute. I love it. Um, Oops, I flipped it the camera. Ha. Um, yeah, the stream like encourages me to talk, which I don't do very well normally. It's not that I don't talk, but like I'm in meetings at work all day. And I have to like be really careful about what I say and I can't just like ramble and sort of like let my brain just be a brain. I have to be like very careful. So I guess it's kind of like unmasking. Streaming helps me. Unmasking. Yeah. Streaming helps me with unmasking. Revelations in real time, people. Autistic. Learning to be a human. And what tools help you. I guess it's kind of like um, when ADHD people say that they need like a buddy. What is that called? It's called a thing, I don't remember. The buddy system. That's not what I was thinking, but whatever. Um, when ha just like having another person like really helps you have a brain. Accountability buddy. And the stream really helps me like open oh, up oh, and just like stim and talk and not be a work brain all the time. And not have work my work personality all the time. Because my work personality is a little boring. Yeah. 
mean, I guess everybody's work personality is really boring, but mine is, like, really boring. It's okay. Because I got towels with kittens on them. And I got bagels. Did you set the timer for 20 minutes or 23 minutes? 20. No. Do you want me to set it for the same for 23? Yeah. Instead of checking? Okay, so it's 13, so 16. We're living on the edge! This thing looks so big, the granola, but it never seems to last long enough. Well, you just have to make it more regular. Shit. All right. <laughs> I think we did all the towels. Put Let's check with our face. Mission accomplished! Yeah. Sir, if you hand me the towel roll, I will towel roll them. We got these cool things called unpaper towels that, for you, like you put them on a roll like this, but they're reusable fabric and you wash them. And I have these things that are totally forget about having these forever Swedish washcloths. Swedish washcloths? Oh yeah, these are cool. You gotta use those more too. Put you over here so I can demonstrate the magics. Wait, did I miss comments? I always miss comments because it freaking hides them from me. Oh, I'm a therapist. My work personality is different each hour. See, I would not have thought of this, but yeah, that is a good point. Dump, 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 dump. Okay. On paper towels, you get the roll, you put all your towels in the stack, and then you just like roll them. I don't know why I'm like demonstrating this, it's very important. Kitchen streaming especially I think is good for my brain because it has like smells and noises and touching things. And like there's a screen involved obviously because like y'all's is on a screen, but it's not... It's not like gaming streaming that is like more similar to my work doing. Stop making the comments for don't! <laughs> Tell you, it's Star Trek chat. Yeah! Oh, if you're gonna get unpaper towels, this is a good tip. Okay. So you have the little roll, right? You put it on top of your stack. You have to pull the towel really tight around and then like pull and then rrr, rrr, rrr. If you don't get them tight, they just like flop off the towel and it is a bummer. So you kind of like gotta get it tight. This one got beluga. This one got beluga. Bum, 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 bum. This one got beluga. In case you are joining recently, I will show you the big L's. Look at them, how pretty. Do, 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 do. So pretty. You can see the next that was the first batch. Oh, oh. On top of the beans. Nacho. Before cheesification. No, 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 no. Now there's going to be cheesification, and then there's going to be snackification. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. My hands are not hypermobile. Only my hips are hypermobile, so I don't got no hand problems. I have sprained this arm, but I sprained like upper part. Ah! You went Nachos and bagels. Spraining an extremity like every week. I do sprain my extremities a lot, but it's usually my lower extremities. So much so that I have an AFO, which is like a a fancy kind of walking cast, basically. Um. With like dinosaurs on it because I've sprained my left ankle and like the bridge of my foot so many times that I have to have a special object. I got a one hip that's not hypermobile. <laughs> it's like everybody goes through the, the hyper to like low mobility uh, car wash and it just sort of like sprays you randomly all over your body. <coughs> See? 
stream. We've been on the stream for an hour and 15 minutes, and now I got my noise pops out. My noise pops are my favorite vocal stims, and now I shall teach them all to you. Boop, 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 boop. Do, boop, boop, bow. Do, do, do. Pachum. Pachum, pachum, pachum. 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 <laughs> Shallow hips are annoying because you try to put legs in them and they don't hold your legs. Hey, why working? You could be just working. No barking. Barking is too loud. Wavy car wash two people. <laughs> Nobody knows, but it's actually car wash people. Boop, 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 boop. Please just show the, the chat so that I can see it without having to click on it like every seven seconds. Sick beats. Yeah. Want to have sick beats. I love beans. Really good. Red bell peppers and sweet My partner is also autistic, but he doesn't do vocal stems. His stems are all boring, and he does them inside of his head, like counting things, and it's boring. My stems are way cooler. Stem shaming! You're stem shaming! Well, mine are more satisfying for me. So. Well, whatever. If there's like music playing or something, my favorite stem is like, everyone thinks it looks like sign language, but it's like with your hands, and you're just like grooving with your hands, and but it's all like very fingery and like. Oh well, yeah, I like this one a lot. Nah, 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 nah. Get all over the wiggles. <sighs> is everybody drinking their water? Is everyone taking deep breaths? Good. Deep breaths is good for your body. For your body. I don't know if this is all going to fit on here, but I'm going to try. Oh. We have a whole other role that I forgot about, so... Whatever. Look at that chunk! Look at that towel-related chunk. Look at that. Hello? Hello? Boop boop! Mama wow 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 wow. The pop pop. <laughs> I should just call all my stims for all my live streams. Stim streams. <laughs> Welcome to me making weird noises. Nachos oh, the nachos are ready. Oh, yeah. Cheesification, Swissification, as you oh. prefer, and salsification. Why are you moving it? Stop moving it. Finish it with the papalote habanero salsa. What is our timer? Uh, seven minutes and thirty seconds. All right, y'all. We got seven minutes till the bagels come out the oven, and then we out of here. We're gonna go watch Dimension Twenty and be nerds. I got you this present. Where is is on the outside? I have no idea. Boop 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 boop. Ha <laughs> ha. Boop 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 boop. Welcome. If you are just joining us, look at these bagels. Look at them. It's um num. Um num. Um num 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 num. num, num. Nah. I am just slowly unraveling into my natural self, which is a very weird kind of self. But that's okay. Everybody, get on the unmasking train. This is good for you! Mm, 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 mm. See, people would be like, the 
this is just performative and you are only do that because you're on the live stream and you would not be doing that normally but that is just not accurate <laughs> that is inaccurate this is a more uh accurate representation of my relaxed self you can tell i am relaxed because i have boop, boop. oh my gosh we have to get water, but it's very far away. Can we do it? Nope. Crushed it today. Granola. Granola. Beans, nachos. Nachos. Bagels. Bagels. I feel like I missed it. Nachos, Clean you things. Oh, I have to introduce you to Sputniks. Mm -hmm. This. So I was talking, I was like, okay, so we have like restaurant shelves, we have some restaurant storage and stuff. This is not technically a restaurant <coughs> item. Although, how many people have a pressure cooker like this in their house? I think is not very many. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It says, this is, this unit, <laughs> it said unit, is for home use only and not to be used for restaurant, industrial, or any commercial use. <laughs> it's huge. Like, it's not even okay. The biggest, they make one that's like, this is my hand. They make one that's like twice that size. This is huge. It's enormous. And oh, it's his name is Sputnik. And he has a cool, really cool lid where you like rotate it. And whoop. He's dirty, but he has a cool put lid. Beans in him has beans in him. The first stage. And again, you like, like rotate. You and you have these little flapper things that you have to rotate on. And then it has a really cool. This pressure thing tells you. So this one is like anti uh, electronics in the kitchen because he doesn't no, want to use electronics. -electronics. Yeah, like. No, we have an ice cream maker. We have oh, that's true. Maker. I was being overly reductive. You're right. There are certain things that I think uh, are better in the analog version. Just, just, for, well, for a variety of reasons. Like, one is e waste. Um, like, do you really need? Like, 50 functions to cook rice. Um, cooking rice in a donabe is, like, super easy. Oh, yeah. We and, own... And the thing we use for rice is called a donabe, which is the traditional Korean and or so Japanese and or Chinese, depending on who you're asking, rice cooker, which is ceramic. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ow. Oh. And that's what it looks like. That's what a traditional rice cooker looks like. It's like a ceramic pot. And it has two lids. And it lets you, like, steam. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should show you this, too. So this one, this ceramic, this is also a ceramic pot, but it only has one lid. And has no hole in the lid. And this is for making kimchi, which no one ever makes me ever, and I'm very sad about that. <laughs> but show them the oil. That's why I Hold on, I just potatoed myself in the foot. Oh yeah. Since we're doing tours, oh, you the so this is this is rice bran oil. This we also buy from a restaurant supply store. It's a forty-five pound jib, but it's so cheap. It's way way cheaper than buying oil at the store. Uh, like there's it, our there's our pasta like, stash. Or like ten. It's like yeah, it's like ten x cheaper. Let's see. I already showed you the rice stash. Flour stash. Pasta. Oh, there you go. There's the, there's the pepper, the bag of seven million thousand peppers. It's it's like the biggest bag of peppers you've ever seen. It's huge. I guess we're just doing a kitchen tour because this is fun. I'll put the trash back over here. Requisite fire extinguisher and fire blanket. We're very safe around here. Like with the dog. Up front, but it's less money than the other long term. Yeah. That's our, like, one of our many stashes. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. So many stashes. All right, we've got two minutes till bagels come out. So let's make room for our little bagel babies. All right, bagels over here. Bagels. So they can all cool. Alright, so bagels and then 
yeah, we just got to take the batch out. Um, one minute and 30 seconds. Let me just look at them. Oh, yeah, these are good. Our very hazy oven door. Yeah, okay. So let's get the... I had to wait so long for this, too, by the way. So, so pressure cooker. Oh, yeah, it took ages to get that pressure cooker. It's like a year and a half. It's, like, seriously huge. Like, like, I don't know why. I feel like my hand is not doing it justice. It's the, massive. Uh, what? Oh, gloving. <laughs> what was the last eight? Those are 24? Yes, there are 24. Two dozen? Is that how many you usually make? Two dozen. All right. <clears throat> Aww. What's up? I just remember doing uh, uh, oh, microwave, microwave countdown videos with Vi. <laughs> oh, I don't know if anybody on the stream knows who Vi Hart is, um, but we used to, uh, she's a good friend of mine, and we used to do these videos where we would just count down with a microwave. As loudly as possible. It was really fun. Alright, here we go. The action shot. Do not lose one of my bagels in the oven, sir. Can't quite do the, uh, confident stuff that you do with pizzas. Alright, sir. Here you go. Huh? You're responsible oh. for the live stream. Okay. <laughs> If you're going to make bagels on a stone like this, or a steel, I guess is what this is, um, just leave enough room so that they can puff because they need a lot of room in the oven. Steel must be getting hot. For those, is the cook level still 20 minutes? Should I do it shorter? Yeah, you can do 20 minutes and we can check it. Yeah. Our oven is not terribly consistent, so... Yeah, now we have well, this. But there's also steel in there, so the steel... What? It, the, the steel also accumulates more heat. Yeah, that's it. fair. All right. <sighs> All right, y'all. I am off to eat this glorious pile of nachos. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh, yes. Ooh, let me taunt. Let me taunt you with this since you can't have any because you're medication. Oh, oh, people do know why. Oh yeah, this is what I don't drink, but Steve is having oyster stout with our. Oh baby. Liquid bread. Oh, do not worry about it being a long time since you watched one of my videos. I am an ex incredibly erratic YouTuber. People are like, I have a schedule. I upload. I have a theme. I'm like, I make art and then I go offline for five months and then I make a million videos and then I start live streaming and then I'm just, I'm a chaos demon. You know, it's chaotic neutral around here. I'm true neutral. You are not true neutral. I'm true neutral. No, you are we not. We took the same survey online. I'm true neutral. What am I? You're like oh chaotic neutral. Like chaotic neutral, which you were so buffered about. I am not chaotic. I'm a dog. I'm I'm absorbing my chaotic state. I'm getting to know it. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. We're gonna eat nachos now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know how to do this. How do you turn it off? <laughs> oh, the X button. I did it. <laughs>